Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another G.I. Joe action figure review. In this episode, we're taking a look at the G.I. Joe Club.com exclusive. This is part of the final 12, the last 12 figures that uh, the club has released. This is Sonic Fighters Dodger. Very cool looking. Uh, so what they're basically doing with these final 12 is they're trying to complete some of the... Uh, faction sets um and one of the ones that we did not get a lot of out of the club itself uh the conventions and things like that was the sonic fighters so uh they actually came out with four figures in the sonic fighter line this is the first one dodger so this is ri originally released uh in the vintage line they actually had an electronic backpack that uh, made some cool sounds and stuff like that but it definitely says here in uh, little italics down here at the bottom backpack with sound effects not included uh, so they couldn't figure out how to do that cost prohibitive or whatever it was but we still get the figure and it looks awesome it does come on the nice card art here uh, that's traditional for the uh, gi joe modern era figure releases on the back of it we have the expanded artwork for the character itself uh, figure three of 12 and we get the actual card file card here so uh, i'll let y'all pause it right there if you want to read through that hopefully you can see it pretty well and uh yeah we're just going to go ahead and uh, open this guy up it looks really cool again it's a dodger so um part of the uh battle force 2000 set uh and then re-released as part of the sonic fighters here so uh very cool i did not actually have this uh, particular character um or the Sonic Fighter version of him uh, from the Vintage line. So it's nice to have a new figure to look at. There is the uh, card art by itself. Very nice looking. Toss that to the side with the rest of those. Uh, we do have a little bit of tape here holding some of these accessories on. So let's go ahead and uh, slice that open. give us easy access to all this stuff theoretically and we'll kind of go from there so uh i'm just going to start yanking out some of these weapons here uh this is a cool ray gun thing um we will zoom in closer here and uh, look at all these individually here in a moment but for the time being we'll just uh pull them out of the pack and see what we got here we got a cool uzi with a silencer on it very nice yeah, real quick there you can see that uh we have this crazy walkie talkie thing i guess that's what this is some kind of big radio pack thing uh, yeah. we have an awesome uh i call it an assault shotgun um i think everybody else tends to prefer to call it a tactical shotgun but it's a very nice looking gun anyways that's cool. We also get the figure itself. Let's see if we can yank him out of here. Very nice. Cool pouches and stuff like that. Uh, so there's the figure. And we also get the battle stand. Very cool. We'll toss the uh, package in there to the side. And uh, we will readjust the camera real quick and uh, zoom in here so that we can see this guy up close and personal. I think that will probably work for us. And get the camera to quit shaking on us. So uh, let's start with the figure stand because that's usually what I start with here. Uh, it's a traditional G.I. Joe 25th anniversary figure stand here. It's got the nice raised G.I. Joe logo on the front or the top two foot pegs. And then on the front is the code name Dodger. Uh, still got that same 2007 copyright, but these are awesome. I'm really glad they're continuing to do that for as long as they have anyways. Um, I guess we'll just start here with this, this thing here. Uh, some sort of crazy radio thing got some pretty interesting details here once you uh, zoom in real close on it cool little button to push on the front sides really nice 
Again, I'm just assuming it's some sort of walkie-talkie radio satellite thing. So, cool. We also get this really nice looking Uzi with a little silencer on it. Uh, Non-removable silencer, but still pretty nice. Got some cool detail work on it. If I can quit uh, dropping it anyways. Whoop. Probably not going to let me not drop it. There we go. Very nice close up on that. Front and back. Very cool looking. Nice uh, gray color here as well. And we have our uh, tactical shotgun. It's an assault shotgun. Anyway, some really cool detail work on this thing as well. Uh, I really do like the way they've done this. Nice sculpt, and got a little bit of flash in there on the bottom, but that's nothing. A little exacto blade work can't fix. Very cool looking, though. Nice. And lastly, we have this uh, crazy ray gun thing. I got no idea what this thing is supposed to be, but it looks pretty wild. I dropped it. <laughs> I'm always dropping things here. Cool detail work on it. Um, the top has some really interesting details here. Some nice rivety things on it. Uh, yeah, it uh, very much reminds me of that crazy red gun that came with DJ. Um, and I can't remember if this is the actual same sculpt or not, but it uh, it reminds me of that crazy gun there anyways. Um, as part of the convention set, they actually released a whole bunch of these Battle Force 2000 weapons uh, in a different color scheme, so nice. I'll have to go back at some point and see if that's the same one or not, but... Anyways, those are the four weapons we get. We'll move on to the figure itself next. Uh, again, this is a nice a nice update to the figure itself. Um, take a look up here close. I'm not really happy with the head sculpt on this thing. Um, it's not bad. I mean, the helmet looks really good, but the face looks just a little bit too big for the helmet, maybe. That might be what's... Uh, got me weird about it but uh so anyways uh we got some really cool detail work all the way around i'll try to keep this thing in focus as we go down here and look through this some really awesome pouches every which were nice color although they did uh kind of slop the paint on a little bit too much right there it's got a little bit of bleed over nice detail on the legs cool armor Nice boots. If I can get it to focus in on that. Very nice. Got a cool uh, bandolier thing on his uh, wrist. And more awesome details on the back here. Uh, there's a little peg hole right there for something to attach to but I don't think we got anything in this particular set that that actually works with but they do have this uh, nice handle for uh, pulling your comrades out very cool looking um, articulation wise the head does spin 360 degrees we have up and down motion a little bit of side head tilt there nice overall Standard ball and swivel at the shoulder joints. Standard ball and swivel here at the uh, elbow joints. If I can get it to break there. Cool. And we get a uh, swivel and a rocker at the wrist, which is very nice. I like that little extra bit of articulation there. We do have the uh, waist twist. Let me get this arm out of the way so it will focus on that piece a little bit better. Hopefully. There we go. Uh, so side twist there. Get some ab crunch. It's a little bit limited by his flak vest here. Not too bad though. Uh, standard T-hooks at the waist. Full front motion there. Full back motion mostly. 
good side to side, uh, really good actually. <laughs> we do get a double knee joint here, and we get the standard swivel and rocker here at the ankle joint. So all in all, very nice looking. Um, a lot of people don't really like this figure too much. Uh, I guess it's the color scheme that's a little bit off for most people. Um, but personally, I kind of like this this color scheme here. It's definitely a little bit different than what I'm used to with this character. Um, but it actually does work really well. And it mostly fits in pretty well with the overall aesthetic look they were going for with the uh, Sonic Force, Sonic Fighters team. Um, they did kind of go a little crazy on some of these with uh, some crazy neon colors. But thankfully, this one is uh, mostly muted. Uh, it's got some nice kind of olive green pants. It's a really cool turquoise color on his uh, helmet and belts. And then uh, red and brown here with the gray. Works really well. About the only crazy colors we got right there are on his uh, bullet pouch there. And... Uh, may not be showing up real well but that's a really bright orange not really sure why they chose that color but they did so uh whatever it uh it works for what it is so uh very nice though uh that little pouch thing is uh movable it just kind of slips on his wrist there so if you were to pop off his uh wrist itself you could pull that off if you wanted to but i kind of like it there so uh i'm gonna leave it <clears throat> but you can readjust it there to be wherever you want it to be Whatever makes the most sense for you. I'll just point out that uh, this vest here, uh, like a lot of these things, they're really tight and they have a tendency for these pegs to pop out. Um, if you were to heat it up with a little bit of warm water, you can get that to go back in there and uh, lock in place a little bit better. Mm, just something to point out. But uh, overall, it's a really nice figure here. I'm pretty impressed with it. Again, the head sculpt is not my favorite, uh, but it's nice to see this figure in a new updated modern version. So we get four, well, three really cool accessories and one uh, crazy radio thing. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, the uh, G.I. Joe Club store itself has closed down, so you cannot get this figure from them anymore. Uh, the best you can do probably is somewhere on the secondary market. So, you know, check your standard sources there first if you're looking for them. Um, but yeah, it's a cool figure. I think you'll probably like it. If you're a fan of the character at all, I think you'll probably want it anyways. <clears throat> and if you really like that Sonic Fighter team, you definitely want to pick it up. But for the rest of us, <clears throat> it may be one that you want to pass on, but um, I still like it. So I'm glad I have it in my collection anyways. That's all the time we've got for today, so thanks for watching. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out some of our previous releases, and uh, go, I guess, hit that little bell icon thing if you want to get notified when uh, we have new content come out. Uh, I try to do these things, uh, at least the Joe stuff, once a week. Um, I'm usually putting other things out uh, about, I usually try to get at least three to four pieces of content out every week, but the Joe stuff, I'm trying to be regular, once a week on it so um yeah you'll probably see another one of these in about a week's time so be on the lookout for that uh drop some comments down below let us know what you think of this particular figure sonic fighter dodger if you'd like to see anything special reviewed in future episodes let me know that in the comments section as well and until next time yo joe